Good morning, modern steaders. We're up here at the off grid property. Yesterday I ran out and I was able to find a coupling. So I'm hoping this will fit on our standpipe over here and we can get the water level in the pond raised up. issue I'm having is, is I really don't know what kind of pipe this is. It's covered in crud. It's actually a metal pipe. So I might have to get a different collar. This one is made for Schedule 35 PVC, and I think the wall of this is thicker, so it's not pushing on. The outside diameter is larger. Yeah. Yep. Bummer. Thinking I can get this coupler to work. It's a little modification that I'm gonna have to do to it, but you can probably make it work. When I was at our supply store yesterday, this was all they had, so I'll have to do some more ciphering and see if we can get this to work. So what that is, it's an eight inch metal culvert or eight inch metal water line or something from back in the day. So that wall's on a three eighths of an inch thick on each side and it's eight inch diameter on the inside. So we're about eight and three quarters of an inch all around on the outside diameter. So we'll see if we can get that to work. I'll mess with this later at the homestead. For now we need to start working on building our second dock. It's gonna be nice to have another dock. This will be the one we can jump off or swim off of, fish off her, and it'll be Gina's deck. She's always wanted a deck, so now she's gonna get one. It's gonna be a floating one, though. How you liking your deck so far? Pretty good. It's not going. Hopefully today we don't get any rain. cut down to 94 and then two of them need to get cut down to 93. I'm looking forward to some trout fishing off the dock.
tractor and build it right where the tractor is. at 91. So we decided we're going to spin this and we're going to push this dock into the water. The barrels will be going in the right direction so they'll wheel in a lot easier, is the theory. I'm going to get my next joist installed on this side. We're going to take the barrels out. We're going to square everything up. And then we'll tighten everything up. Thinking.
I brought some sealant up if I need to seal these drums up. But I don't need to. All of these bungs have had some kind of o-ring on them. So I'm just gonna make sure they're nice and tight so we don't gotta worry about water leaking in. Odds this one's like right what we need. I think it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be close. I was hoping to get the dock all finished up in this video, but things have changed. I was able to get a couple of loads of gravel brought up and dropped off. So we need to go spread those with the TYM tractor in our box grader because we need the road a little bit nicer so we can be getting some bigger equipment up here so we can start on some of our next projects. We need to get the road fixed up and it's not for the logging equipment. We have some more things going on guys. I don't want to give it all away yet, but we're gonna be starting to make a lot of great progress here on the off-grid homestead. Oh, it feels good, guys. So we need to get down below and start grading the road. It's later on at night now, so it'll attract just kind of loud, but it'd be nice 
nice to see a deer or the bear. We haven't seen them or had the camera out yet, so maybe we'll spook up some wildlife tonight, guys. We can wish. All right, it's gonna be a little bit before we get down to the house lot, so I'll meet you guys down there. Fixing up the road right here by the water line and everything. Not yet. I don't want to fix this up. Oh, ah, e, yeah, see, it's, it's pretty bumpy and it needs to get fixed. But, oh, ah, e, ah. I'm not ready to fix that. Yet. Oh, my goodness. I just lost my water, guys. Oh, hope I don't get too thirsty. Bummer. Okay, so. No, I don't want to fix right here yet because it's nice and solid and dry. So I'm not worried about equipment getting up this part of the road. For some reason, this part of the road doesn't get too slick. Down here, the road gets pretty slimy and we fixed up quite a bit of it. But the top part, we weren't able, we didn't have enough gravel to fix up. And then down below, I had them some more dropped off so we can get the mud holes filled in. So let's get down there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here, we come out of the woods is where they ended with the gravel. So the whole woods part of the road that's up the hill is gravel, which is awesome. Let's drop the box scraper. Boom. rutted up spot on the upper hill and for a pickup truck or a car it's not a big deal when you're trying to break dump trucks and concrete trucks up here yeah it's not good when it's pretty slick out
dropped right here. It was super muddy. I think at one point, way back in the day, the beavers must have had this all flooded out. So we're gonna drag this area, get this nice and smooth, and we won't have any mud holes. the wildlife knows when we have our cameras on us because anytime we're up here with our cameras we never see any wildlife when we're here love the cameras we're seeing deer we're seeing bear with her cubs the fish are jumping we've been seeing blue heron hawks i mean ah one of these days we'll get it on camera for you guys 
We see moose tracks all the time, but we haven't seen a moose yet. The loggers this winter, they saw moose when they were working, but we haven't yet. One of these days, we're gonna catch it on camera. I was hoping to get the dock all finished up and installed today in the pond. I was looking forward to going swimming off of it, but I can't complain because we got the gravel dropped off. It is the next day right now as I'm making the ending for this video. And all I can say is that gravel came just in time with the off-grid property right now. There's a lot of different things in the work. So there's going to be a lot of probably jumping back and forth to videos. We'll be starting one project and then having to jump on to the other one because we're getting stuff going and we're waiting. So yeah. There's a lot of progress going on at the off-grid property, which is amazing. So be patient, guys. It is coming, but it's a good thing. We got the gravel dropped off when we did, and then I went back and I spread it. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We wouldn't be doing here what we're doing at Lumna Acres if it wasn't for you. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you right back here in the next video. Bet you guys... Take a guess. What do you think is going on in the next video? It's not the doc. I'll tell you that. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.